Howdy folks, Turbo here, back with some more of the Abandoned Forest. And as you can see, it's the first day of autumn. And a lot's changed around the farm since I last checked in with you. Uh, you may notice there's a lot of gravel here. Talked the county into getting a few truckloads of gravel up here. Got that spread around. And uh, it's a beautiful fall morning here. Been having a little barbecue here with the camper. Thought we'd hop in the uh, Land Rover here, take a little look around. Show you what all I've got going on. Got some weeds pulled up around here too. There's a lot of grass and this cracked concrete. Made several trips back and forth to town. There's been a lot of a lot of stuff going on. New tractors. Uh, I got a bunch of liquid fertilizer there on standby for next year since I was coming from town. Every time I came from town, I tried to get a load brought in. Uh, this old shop building here was kind of caving in and wasn't too stable, so I got that knocked down and hauled off. Got a bunch of water pumped up here in case we ever need it. That shed is kind of the, uh, the hay equipment. See here, I got a bunch of gravel. I haven't got everything spread with gravel. I need to get a few more loads up. Kind of starts here. Should help out when it gets snowy and muddy. Also got a lift kit put on the uh, lander over here for this rough country. Figured I could use a lift kit. And here's where the gravel ends. So we've got some more equipment out here. We've still got the 6R. Uh, but I've got a fertilizer sprayer. Got that all ready to go. I actually did spray, um, I think I sprayed field three with that. All the fields are ready to go. We're just waiting on harvest. They're all fertile. Fertile? <laughs> They're all for fully fertilized, if I can spit that out. A little bit of a peach and spediment today. So we'll move on down here. You'll also notice, too, I got some little trees and brush cleaned out. It's a little clearer through here. Uh, I've got a mower. Mower set for the 6R. I've got a bunch of attachments here. I ended up trading in. Uh, I took the Massey back. Got it traded in. Decided I didn't really want that big, huge tractor out here. Not going to really need it till we plow again in probably a couple, three years. So I traded that back in. Uh, I got this old 7710 here, just for kind of a general purpose tractor. You use the front loader and whatnot. So we've got the 6R, we've got the 7710, then we got the little 445. That's our three tractors we have at the moment. There's a little 445. I got a little wagon too to go with the 445. Right now I'm using that just to gather up wood chips where I've been cutting down trees. Poor little 445. The front loader is almost bigger than it is. It's a fun little tractor, though. Got some trees cleared out in here. So in here in the cow shed, I'm not really using it for cows right now. I'm using it for storage. Got this nice big Dakota grain trailer ready to go for harvest season. And I've got a double set of these Flegel short short timber runners. And uh, that made it just fine with double load of logs over to town. No problems at all going over that hump where we got stuck last time. Shorter wheelbase on the trailer makes that no problem. But we'll go out and take a look at the crops. I may clear out all these trees by the milk barn or the cow shed, whatever you want to call it. I haven't decided yet. There's some more sawdust need to get cleaned up. Let's go take a look at field one. Corn's coming along pretty well. Should be ready to harvest here this week sometime. Corn's looking pretty tall. Coming in quite nicely. Thought about knocking this old thing down, but I haven't got to it yet. Not really doing anything but taking up space. 
But at the same time, I really can't use that land anyway without removing those big boulders. So until it becomes dangerous, I may just leave it there. The little road here is pretty rough. This little cut through here, I made a shortcut. I got all the brush cleaned out of that. Just got a little more sawdust we need to get cleaned up. I've been kind of working on a shortcut over to field three. Got some posts down the market way. Got some more trees cleared out. Let me just cut across here. And then down through here. It's a fairly smooth way to get to field three. So we'll go take a look at field three while we're over here. Orange looking good here as well. Just a little bit of fertilizer spilled there. Just wonder it hadn't burnt that corn. But yeah, the corn's looking good here as well. Take a quick run over here. Yeah, this swatch here didn't really grow. I guess I got it planted too late. It's that bare patch. We'll have to get that sorted next time around. Like it never did grow in. Yep, zero percent growth. So not sure what happened there. I did get it in a little late. Maybe that caused some issues. Let's go take a look at field two. Come winter time, I may cut another load of logs. I did finally get both those trailers filled up. Got about 30 grand for the load of logs, so it's pretty good payment. It's going to be interesting getting the combine over here to the fields. One reason I made this shortcut, I think it'll maybe be easier if I take it slow. Right, let's let's go down to low range. There we go. Road is rough. I'm not too sure. I think we can get the combine back in here. Uh, we may have to make a test run <laughs> before harvest day just to make sure I can get the combine out here when we need it. See if we need to fell any trees or anything. It's pretty tight back in here. Uh, field 2 is looking good as well. Nice growing corn there. Looking good. So now we're just kind of marking time until uh, harvest time gets here. I don't have a whole lot else to do. We've got most of the equipment, I think, sorted. Kind of took a while to figure out which equipment I wanted out here. and Been a lot of tractor swapping going on. I did get the bridge over there, that the wooden bridge closest to town. Did a little repair on it, so it's a little more easy to pass over. Still got to take it slow, but it's not quite as bumpy. Got some of the boards fixed up, squared away. So that's what's been happening. I actually recorded my drive into town with the log truck with the dual trailers. 
But I had some audio issues with the game audio. So that episode ended up on the cutting room floor. But it wasn't, you know, it wasn't any big surprise. The real question was, could I make it up the hill with tandem trailers full of logs? And then over that hump by the sheep farm. But it all worked fine. The little Tatra pulled her fine. So I think that's about all the updates. Uh, I'm going to try to get some more gravel out here at some point. Maybe get a little more gravel put down. Just to make it easier to drive around. But I think that is all the updates. So I'm going to probably throw some more burgers on the grill. Enjoy this nice evening here. And I will catch you all next time when it should be harvest season. Oh, we turned the truck off. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.